Oy vey, these last few attempts at commentary have been a disaster to say the least. Commentary is one of those things where you have to get in a rhythm, and if you're in a rhythm, you can crank out some pretty good commentary, but if you're out of that rhythm, it can really screw you over. And that's what happened to me these last few times. Also the fact that my editing program keeps crashing for some reason. I thought my $800 computer would be able to run an editing program and Audacity at the same time, but I guess not. So yeah, I got a new microphone if you can't tell. I don't really know if the difference in audio quality will be that different, but hey, there it is. I got a new microphone. I got the blue snowball. It's not even blue, it's white. False advertising, but anyway, I know. I know it's the brand name, Blue Snowball, but it's just sort of funny. I didn't even get a blue one, so what's the point? But yeah, I like it so far. I haven't really used it for anything I've put out on the channel, though. So, here, you are getting to see the debut of my new microphone. I'm sort of sentimental about my old one. I was really sad when it crapped out, because that's the one that I've had uh, since the very beginning of my channel, actually. That's the one I used for all of my videos thus far. And now it is just gone. It's like a family member died, or a beloved pet. R.I.P. Mike the Microphone. Yeah, I never named it, but Mike sounds like a good name. So, yeah. Here's Farmer Brown. We gotta go to the eternal flame and yada yada. Blow away the clouds. Huff and puff and blow them out of the way. Like the big bad wolf. But, yeah, anyway. This, this recording session has just been <laughs> really bad so far. Uh, there have been, like, some flies in the window behind me. And they just keep buzzing and buzzing, and it's driving me crazy. Even more crazy than BuzzFeed does. But yeah, so I had to stop recording, and I had to do something about it. So, I prepared to take down those flies once and for all. I grabbed the first thing that I could find, and that happened to be a stuffed Pikachu plushie. And I went to town. I killed, like, three of the flies, and there's still one more left. I can't believe it. Like... Why, where are all these flies coming from? Why are they in my window? They need to stop. But yeah, we have to do this guy a favor and just like, <laughs> click on all these clouds basically, or tap on the clouds with our stylus. I don't know, it's sort of a dull gameplay, but you know, I gotta use the touch screen for something. Yeah, the drawing aspect is actually really cool. That's what make this, makes this game like one of the great things about the DS because it really utilizes the touch screen to its full potential. It's actually like a mini Photoshop inside of a game and that's sort of cool. But tapping on clouds is really not my idea of a good time. But you know, you have to do it. You gotta save the townsfolk because I'm the creator and stuff even though I just feel like a glorified janitor most of the time. Like, hey, clean away this thing, save my friends, and whatever. I guess janitors don't really save people all that much, but, you know, it could happen. It could happen. Alright, so now I gotta go in this guy's house. Hopefully he's gonna pay me well for destroying all those clouds. I can't find them banya seeds. A little rapo check there in that cupboard. And I still don't know how to pronounce that word. Rapo, rapo... I don't know, I just don't want to pronounce it in a way that sounds really bad. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna say Rappo, or Rappo, I don't know. I really don't know, it's like based on a Portuguese word for fox, and I'm not Portuguese, and if I try to be Portuguese, I'm gonna like, that'll be bad. You don't want me to pretend to be Portuguese, cause it'll just be all bad. I don't even know anything about Portugal. So yeah, yada yada, I gotta design a new Banya crop. What happened to the old Banya crop? You were probably just a terrible farmer. I missed the plot point, but yeah, that's probably it. You're just a terrible farmer and they all died. Jowie and Mari, or Mary. Is it Jowie and Mary or Mari? I don't know, Mary. I'll just say Mary. So yeah, time to visit my favorite little duo of lovebirds. Oh, look at them. Maybe we should ask Isaac if he has a ladder. No, Jacob's the one who had ladders. Haven't you ever heard the song, We Are Climbing Jacob's Ladder? 
As that shop is empty at the moment, I already did something that I couldn't read because I clicked through it too fast. Hmm, I bet Josh could do something about it. Hey Josh, help us put this sign up! Putting a sign up? <laughs> Don't be rude, Baka. Hang on Josh, we should ask the creator to rename the village first. Rename the village? What's wrong with its current name? Does this place even have a name? I don't even know. What should we call the, the village? Oh man. What should we call the village? Something befitting of the awesome residents that live here, I am guessing. So, let's see. What would be a good name? I mean, this town is pretty full of swag. All the residents have swag, so I think Swag Town would be a good name. Yeah, let's just go with that. I don't I can't think of anything better. And Swag Town, oh yeah, everyone just has all the swag. Apparently not me though cuz I can't spell. There we go. Swag Town will be the name of this town. Perfect. Perfect. That sounds perfect. <laughs> Oh, look at that glorious sign. <laughs> what an awesome name. Yeah, Jowie knows what's up. And Mary, too. Thanks for putting the sign up for us. Yeah, everybody, welcome to Swagtown. Population. Uh, me, I guess. And these two. So you're headed to the Banya Fields? I heard a rumor once about that place. Some of the Rappo houses sit sideways. Well, why would they do that? Nah, it's probably just a crazy story. I'll bet you my left leg and my left arm, my whole left side, that there are going to be houses sitting sideways in the next level. Oh, I hope I'm not wrong. I really need my left arm. So anyway, uh, I guess it's time to do more things and stuff. We gotta go and play the levels, yeah. I already forgot what we were supposed to do, but we are going to do it, gosh darn it! We will do the thing that needs to be done. Aw oh man, I feel like it's been forever since I've been here. Alright, so... Wait, where did this... Where did this lady come from? I didn't see her earlier. Banya, muffins are my favorite. Why is she talking about muffins? I have important hero work to do. I have no time for your muffins. I gotta head through this portal to... The world map, I guess. Yep, I'm leaving Swagtown, but you know, it's my hometown. So, the Banya Fields are all the way out here for some reason. So, let's go. Let's do this thing. World 1-3. Wow. I don't understand why these, uh, these levels are so long. I feel like I've played through an entire world already, and we're only on world 1-3. So yeah, let's kill that little Mickey Mouse dude here. I still don't know what they're called. I think I looked it up once, but then I forgot. So yeah, we are just heading through. We gotta... Ooh, ooh, time to draw something. And you know what that means. Time to speed up and do music. Let's go. Alright, so it told me to make a vine, and that's what I did! Gosh darn it, look at that vine. It's pretty great. Yeah. So, wait. What is that guy doing?! He... He's pulling his C-section babies out of his stomach, and, and sending his children to kill me! What is wrong with this guy? I don't understand! Oh, I comboed. c c c, -c combo I don't even know what I did. I just sort of like fired my gun willy-nilly until he died, but I guess that constitutes a combo, so I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, you know me, I always have to make dumb 
dumb jokes and puns about everything, so my vine is literally a vine. I don't actually watch very many vines. Like, I don't really have an account. Actually, I think I do have an account. I just never go on it. But my favorite one <laughs> is the one uh, with Harry Potter and uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. And I guess you can't jump on that guy's head for some reason. His top hat gives him invincibility or something. And I'm pretty much naked now, so don't look! Don't look, guys! But yeah, my favorite vine is the one with uh, <laughs> uh, Ron and Harry when they're in the flying car in the second movie. And then just Thomas shows up behind them. It's the funniest thing ever. You should just look look it up. If you search on YouTube, uh, Harry Potter, Thomas Vine, I'm pretty sure it'll pop up. It'll be the greatest six seconds of your life. I am not even kidding. I am a better person because I watched that. So anyway, I just like knocked my... That guy just bit my face off, so now I don't even have an identity anymore. I'm just a wooden mannequin hopping around up here. Thank goodness someone left a gigantic heart there for me to collect. Alright, so we getting money. Money, 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 money. Ooh. And a template, which is actually just a ripped piece of paper. I'll never understand why there are just, like, crates everywhere. Was someone just, like, moving the from one house to another and then... <laughs> They just decided, hey, I'm just going to leave this crate here. I don't really need this stuff. It's like in Toy Story 2 when uh, they were giving that stuff away, including the Jessie doll. And they just, like, left it on the side of the road. I don't understand. Was that, like, some pickup place for a truck? I mean, that might very well be a thing where you just leave boxes of stuff at some place in the middle of nowhere and a truck picks it up. But I had never heard of that before, so... I don't know, it's just sort of weird. It almost seems like they're just trying to dump their stuff off, so they just decided to leave it in an abandoned field. Oh well. So yep, there are the sideways houses. I knew it! I get to keep my limbs. That makes me very happy. Very happy indeed. But what, what makes me not happy is that I have to clean all this sludge off of these buildings, and there are these giant sludge monsters coming out to take away my clothes. It's like the reverse of the house elf. They're just taking away my clothes instead of giving it to me. So yeah. These guys are like the worst enemies ever. I hate them. I can't believe I'm not even out of world one. Like, holy shmadolis. Holy Bon Jovi, man. This game is gonna be a long and bumpy ride if I don't learn to play better. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's three of them! I've stumbled into the bad part of town, it seems. So I just gotta erase their spawn points, and then I'll be good. And I don't know why I'm dancing. Why is my character dancing? I am the, in the middle of a crisis. You don't fight crises by dancing like that. Who even dances like that? I mean, honestly, I would probably dance like that, because I cannot dance. Isn't that a song from High School Musical 2? I don't dance. I know you can't. Not a chance. No. If I can do this, well, you can do that. But I don't dance. Hit it out of the park. Yeah, they were dancing and playing baseball. Two of my favorite things to do. Except not dancing. <laughs> playing baseball is actually pretty fun. Oh, man. Except I need to work on my arm because if I throw too much, it'll just like... It'll get all sore, you know? And I can't even throw properly the next day. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. That is uncalled for. That guy just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I bet that snowman guy's just like, Don't talk to me or my son ever again! <laughs> oh man. He was sleeping peacefully and I just murdered him. But good riddance, I really don't need snowmen in my life. Alright, so here's another piece of the template. Might as well pick that up and do a weird celebratory dance. Because I can't really bend at the elbows for some reason. Oh wait, yes I can. I can slightly bend at the elbows. 
Well, that's better than no bending at the elbows, I suppose. I found a new song! What kind of new song could it be? Hope it's a good one. There are a lot of good songs on the radio these days. Oh man, I used to like never know the words to songs on the radio because I would always just be doing my own thing in the car, like reading or, I don't know, playing DS. But now that I like drive and stuff, I listen to the radio a lot more and there are just a lot of good songs on the radio right now, like Seven Years by Lucas Graham. Uh, I've listened to that one a bit too much though, so I'm probably not going to listen to it quite as frequently because it'll diminish my love for it, but it's a pretty good song. And Stressed Out is good. 21 Pilots is where it's at, man. But I'm not going to go into that because you don't want to hear about my obsession with 21 Pilots, even though I love to talk about it. Oh, anyway, so... Gonna come over yonder, miss the jump, to pro. I don't understand, like, these these leaves are slippery for some reason. I have no idea why. It makes no sense. Like, why can't you just let me stand still on them? Why do you have to make it so I slip off if I stand still on them? That serves literally no purpose except for making the game more annoying. Alright, so I'm gonna s destroy this family's belongings that they never claimed. Got lost while they were moving, and ooh! There's a citizen I can rescue by shooting his prison. Cause that's definitely how it works. Chef Cookie's assistant. Ah, Cookie's going to kill me! I'm lost! Thanks for freeing me. Well, I hope he doesn't kill you. That would, like... That would make it harder for him. I mean, he needs his employees to help him get a good enough output, uh, input. What is it? Revenue! That's the word. He needs enough revenue so he can survive. So he's not gonna fire all his employees, because he needs to get stuff done. So I think you're good. Oh! Dang it. Why are these... What are these things even doing? Go away! Ah! I am failing epically right now. Alright, so this guy's gonna pull his babies out of himself. Sort of sad, <laughs> there's just like a pile with a carrot and a top hat left. It reminds me of Undertale when you like steal all that one snowman guy's parts and you just leave him as a useless pile of snow. Uh, but anyway, we are here in the land of the broken windmills. Uh, we still have quite a bit of sludge to clear, it looks like. But anyway, this looks like a pretty good place to stop. So, I don't know, I'm glad to be back. So, thank you for watching this episode of Drawn to Life. I will see you all in the next one. Uh, peace out, and whoa, that guy just came out of nowhere. I'll have to get him next time.